All right. Good morning, everyone. I uh, just want to do a quick walkthrough for what we're thinking for severe weather today and then uh, for Sunday and Monday as well. Uh, overall, thinking for today uh, hasn't changed too much. We're expecting a strong but should be weakening line of convection move into our area this evening, uh, move it in from uh, Georgia. It's going to develop kind of across Arkansas and Tennessee early this morning and then push east throughout the day. Uh, overall, the timing for us is generally between 6 to 11 p.m. this evening. Um, we're still in that slight risk uh, that's continued for the last few days uh, with an enhanced risk that got upgraded um, overnight and yesterday uh, for kind of central and northern Georgia, but still in our area, we're still just a slight risk as we're expecting it to weaken a bit by the time it gets here. Um, generally, the impacts, again, are damaging wind is the main threat, not expecting much in terms of hail or tornadoes with this. Uh, the confidence is generally highest kind of in the, the CSRA, just where the timing will line up for this line coming through may still have a bit more energy to work with um, as it moves through uh, closer to peak heating in the afternoon. Um, quite a few for, uh, quite a few forecast challenges with this. Um, just timing out that line is going to be tricky until that thing gets developed and gets moving. Um, small shifts north and south and where it develops this morning um, can change whether it's going to push south of the CSRA or maybe a bit further north and potentially impact more of the Midlands. Um, and then the key thing here is if uh, the line does speed up. Um, it could be more impactful from a wind perspective. We're expecting a pretty robust line kind of across northern Georgia, northern, Georgia, northern Alabama. Um, but by the time it gets here, it should be weakening. But again, a bit of a speed increase could change that for us a bit. Uh, and then for Sunday and Monday, not much change here. Um, still quite a bit of uncertainty exactly how these storms will develop. But we're kind of expecting kind of just waves of scattered showers both days. Um, with potentially strong to severe storms. Um, generally, again, damaging wind is the main uh, main threat with these. And generally, it's going to be in the afternoon uh, when heating is highest. So we'll have another briefing out for covering Sunday and Monday um, tomorrow morning. Uh, and then just kind of an overview real quick. Uh, the cluster of storms across Oklahoma now moving into Arkansas uh, is what is going to be causing us trouble later today. Um, should develop pretty strong. Uh, MCS or mesoscale convective system that will develop somewhere in Tennessee, northern Mississippi, and that'll kind of develop one of those bow segments, um, and then that'll kind of propagate to the southeast, potentially over our area. Um, yeah, again, generally this evening. Take a look at the some of the model guidance that's been pretty consistent now for the last couple of days. Um, we see that strong kind of bowed segment out there in Tennessee, moving into northern Alabama, then northern Georgia um, this evening. But then, you know, this is 7 p.m. here, quickly kind of weakening and becoming a bit more disorganized by the time it gets over us later this evening. And that's 11 o'clock there. So, again, that kind of window is that 6 to 11 window with it weakening. Um, we'll have updates throughout the day. if uh, The speed is increasing, which could potentially increase the impacts. But overall, expecting a, you know, a few areas of possibly damaging wind gusts, probably with the whole line itself, wind gusts in that 40 to 50 mile an hour range is possible. Um, with those embedded damaging wind gusts over 60 miles an hour. So again, if you have any questions, we will be here. Thanks.